What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we are going to be taking a look at an incredibly powerful PvE weapon. In fact, this is one of the most unique weapons in the entire game. It has no direct competition. Now that all sounds sweet, but there is a catch. This awesome PvE weapon is locked behind a PvP activity. And the weapon in question is the Incisor Trace Rifle that drops from Trials of Osiris. So if you want to improve your PvE builds, yeah, you're gonna have to be playing some Trials. Now with that being said, it's not as much of a downside as it was in the past. The rewards for Trials of Osiris have actually improved dramatically, and even though the role I'm gonna be showing in this video, I lucked out and got the god roll on the Adept version, you absolutely do not need to go flawless, you do not need the Adept version. The normal version will do perfectly fine. And even if you're grinding trials and losing the majority of your matches, you're still going to be throwing a bunch of loot and all you need is one lucky drop because then you're cooking with gas. Now you're probably thinking, okay, why is this guy hyping up this weapon so much? Well, as I said earlier, it's incredibly unique. In fact, this is the only legendary strand trace rifle in the entire game. However, it's not just desirable because it's unique. It's also one of the best legendary trace rifles in the entire game. The god rolls for this thing are insane. Check out what I have on it. First of all, I have subsistence in that first column. That is going to give me ammo back when I get a kill. And I'm combining that with killing tally. Killing tally is incredibly powerful. It's basically like rampage except no time limit. It never expires until you reload. So you get a kill, you get a permanent damage boost, and it stacks up to three times. Now you combine that with, again, subsistence where you're getting your ammo back, and you can have killing tally times three up a ridiculously long time. So it's incredibly unique and also incredibly powerful. And this isn't even the only god roll. If you don't want killing tally, it can also get target lock. If you don't like subsistence, it can get envious assassin to massively boost the magazine. And you may be wondering, okay, that's cool. Why do I want to use a strand trace rifle? Why does having a good strand trace rifle matter? Well, first of all, strand matters. Right now, in Season of the Wish, which is going to last for several more months, remember, until the final shape, strand weapons are, I've said it before, I'll say it again, they're juice to the gills, dude. First of all, you have unraveling orbs. Picking up an orb of power grants strand weapons unraveling rounds, which is going to make them uh, do significantly more damage. But then you also have Horde Shuttle. Damaging unraveled targets with a weapon occasionally spawns a threadling, and you will see that two perk combo in the background gameplay a ton. As I'm getting kills, I'm unraveling everything, and constant threadlings are just hopping off and doing even more damage and are increasing my ag clearing capabilities to absurd levels. And if that isn't enough, you also have Torch while Radiant deal increased uh, weapon damage to combatants affected by Strand and Stasis debuffs. So as long as you can get Radiant, if you are just picking up an Orb of Power, which literally every single build wants to be generating Orbs of Power, then you are going to be doing that Strand debuff in the form of Unraveling Rounds. Now you're doing extra damage from Torch, so you're spawning Threadlings, like it just steamrolls into an incredibly powerful weapon. But again, you don't just want a strand weapon because there's actually a lot of good strand weapons. I mean, I just did a video on the newly introduced strand machine gun, the Mercado. That thing is juiced as well. So like, why am I not just using other strand weapons? Well, trace rifles specifically are performing really, really well right now in PvE thanks to an exotic warlock helmet the Cenotaph Mask. Now, this has the exotic perk High Priority. Steadily reloads a portion of your equipped Trace Rifles magazine from reserves. By the way, it works incredibly well with Killing Tally, just say that. But also, damaging a vehicle, boss, or champion with a Trace Rifle marks them as the target. When an ally defeats the marked target, special ammo is generated for you, so you have constant Trace Rifle ammo and heavy ammo for your allies. 
And so the Cenotaph Mask is quickly becoming one of the best ways to consistently generate heavy ammo for your team in endgame PvE activities. It used to be uh, using the Aeon Gauntlets and then you would go and generate heavy ammo for finishers, but people are quickly realizing that simply shooting a guy with a trace rifle and then your teammates can kill that guy from across the map is often a lot easier and safer than getting in for finishers on every single champion. And again, the Cenotaph has other benefits, generating special for the users so that they can constantly have ammo to mark those targets. In fact, you know, when I was farming the end boss for the new Warlord's Ruin dungeon, one of my teammates was using that combo. In fact, their synergies went even further. They were using a Dawnblade with Well of Radiance. Obviously, Well of Radiance absolutely cracked. You want one in like every PvE team. So they were the Well guy, but then they were using the Cenotaph Mask to generate heavy ammo for us. Obviously, incredible in a big boss fight. But then they were specifically using the Incisor. Because remember, guys, when I went over that Torch uh, perk, where if you're Radiant, you deal bonus damage. Well, all of us had Torch, even though we weren't using Strand Weapons, because this teammate would put down their well which grants everyone inside of it radiant, and then they would shoot the boss with their incisor for a little bit to unravel them, and then we're all absolutely cooking because of Torch. Like, this is a very reasonable combination you can throw together, and like, right now, it is super powerful. Now, it's especially going to be powerful because even though I'm talking about farming the Warlord's Ruin boss, uh, you know, a while ago, speed farmed that like months ago at this point, uh, next month, Bungie is actually adding two new Nightfall weapons into the loot pool. So we're going to be going back into Grandmaster Nightfalls. They're going to be more relevant than ever trying to get these brand new weapons. And so Cenotaph Mask is an incredibly good Grandmaster build. It is becoming more and more and more popular, again, as a consistent way to generate heavy. And if you've got to use a trace rifle, and you also want to gain all of those incredible strand bonuses from the seasonal artifact, I mean, the only answer is the incisor or technically the navigator, but again, it takes up an exotic slot. So I'm gonna be using the insider so I can use, uh, you know, a sunshot, which is absolutely, again, juice to the gills this season or whatever other exotic I want to use. The incisor is especially this season with all of the artifacts, all the synergies going on, like is just a very, very desirable weapon and will absolutely slot into incredibly good and incredibly end game PVE builds, guys. And so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, so much of this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.